this video, we're trying to use the table of reduction potentials to see, to identify the reducing agent and the oxidizing agent. We're also trying to identify whether the redox reaction, if it is one, will be spontaneous. So we start off with iron and sulfuric acid. We see that there is a change in oxidation number for the iron, so it is a redox reaction. Iron on the table of reduction potentials is indicated as your re, or is identified as a reducing agent. Right? Uh, in sulfuric acid, you've got the hydrogen iron and you've got the sulfate iron. The hydrogen iron is the oxidizing agent. The reaction is spontaneous if the reducing agent is higher than the oxidizing agent on the table of reduction potentials. Are you with me? Okay. We've repeated it now. We're going to go to another example, a reaction between copper and sulfuric acid. So we've got copper and we've got sulfuric acid. Yes. Okay. So what is copper according to our table of reduction potentials? It's Cu plus plus E is Cu. So it's Cu 2 plus plus 2 electrons going to Cu 2 plus. Okay. No, that's redundant. Oh, sorry, Cu. Sorry. And you see why? My mistake. I thought that was Cu plus. It's because in the reaction, if you use Cu 2 plus, then copper's um, charge will remain the same in the, re in the product, and it won't be an oxidizing or reducing agent if it becomes copper 2 plus. Because yeah, it goes from 0 to 2 plus. <laughs> yeah. It's Cu2 plus and SO4 is on the two left side to Cu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so never mind. There is a Cu and a Cu plus, yeah. but it's lower down. Yeah. Can you stop, please? Then, in the sulfuric acid, we've got hydrogen, ions, and we've got sulfate ions. What will the hydrogen ions be? The hydrogen ions will also be the oxidizing agent. Okay? But the hydrogen ions are above the copper. They're reducing it. Can't be hydrogen ions can't be a reducing agent. There is no hydrogen ion tab tabulated there as a reducing agent. I'm just copying these reactions as they are on the table of reduction potentials. So the copper <coughs> is the reducing agent. And the hydrogen ions are the oxidizing agents. Now it's quick to see that your reducing agent, copper, is lower down than the hydrogen. So if you want to, if you want to write the table, the, the C, you'll have to write the C in the wrong way. Because you always have to start with the copper, the reducing agent, and you have to go uphill to your oxidizing agent and across. So this will be a non-spontaneous redox reaction. Yes.
I'll do the other one now. But you don't have hydrogen. You don't have hydrogen here. You've got hydrogen ions here. Yeah, ma'am, but you don't I mean have that hydrogen. Since sulfate is the spectator, I mean yes. It starts well, we'll copper see. Copper, copper one has the lower one, and the last is the one that's lower. It's taking. But you start the one that's lower. Ma'am, did you stop by copper or did you stop by hydrogen? Copper. Thank you. Yeah, my arrow starts there. Ma'am, we're not talking about the arrow, we're talking about the one you write first in order to draw the arrow. That's the one that died. You're reducing age. I'm not talking about the one you were supposed to, I'm saying the arrow. Oh, sure. Oh, you only stop when the reducing age is to end the writing the thing. I wrote to the one that is higher up on the table. I wrote it second, but I knew I was going to write it above. Because I, I'm, I didn't want to copy everything on the table here. Yeah? So I'm just asking you, where is copper? Identify copper. Let's write the uh, redox half reactions, the, the, the reaction as it is on the table down. Then we discovered that hydrogen ions are higher than copper on the table. The hydrogen ions are our oxidizing agent and the copper is <coughs> our reducing agent. And we see that if we go from reducing agent to oxidizing agent, we have to go uphill. So it is a non-spontaneous redox reaction. The scientific reasoning behind it is that copper is a weaker reducing agent than hydrogen. Therefore, copper can not reduce hydrogen ions to hydrogen spontaneously. Are you with me? So, so, so copper will not react spontaneously with sulfuric acid. In our third example, we're looking at zinc and hydrochloric acid. Can you find zinc on the table of reduction potentials? That's right. So if we write the zinc down, it would be there, Zn, double arrow, Zn2+, plus, plus two electrons. So, by just looking at this, what is zinc? Um, zinc. Yes. zinc is a, is a reducing agent. Reducing agent. 
Now, in the hydrochloric acid, you can try. You will not find hydrochloric acid on this table of reduction potential. That's right. You have in there, you have hydrogen. the hydrogen ion and you have the chloride. the chloride ion. So find the hydrogen ion and the chloride ion. Well, uh, where is the hydrogen ion? Is it above or below the zinc? It's below. Okay. So the hydrogen ion, two hydrogen ions and two electrons will make hydrogen H2. Yes. We've got hydrogen ion there. What is the hydrogen ion? It is an oxidizing, oxidizing agent. And where is the chloride? It's different from the last one. So the chloride is somewhere down at the bottom. Yes. There. So it's a strong oxidant. I will. I, 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 I. Chloride. Yeah, exactly. Chloride. Yes. So what is chloride? It's a reducing agent. It's a reducing agent. Yeah, but not in this reaction. But it's a very weak reducing agent. So which one of the reducing agents will react with the hydrogen ion? The zinc. The zinc. The zinc is a stronger reducing agent than the chloride. So because zinc is a stronger reducing agent, the spontaneous reaction will be between the zinc and the hydrogen ions, not between the hydrogen ions and the chloride. Ma'am, to consider which one is taking part, do we look at the strength of time you'll know. In a year or just next year? By, by this time next year you'll be writing chemistry so by that time you will definitely know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so zinc is a stronger reducing agent than, uh -uh, than hydrogen. Therefore, it will oh, go away. It will reduce hydrogen ions to hydrogen spontaneously. And because chloride ions are, a, are weaker reducing agents than hydrogens, the chloride will not reduce the hydrogen ion to hydrogen spontaneously. I'm going to squeeze it in here because chloride is a weaker reducing agent than H plus uh, sorry H2 H2 it can not reduce H plus to H2 spontaneously. We'll do one more example.
zinc will react with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen. That reaction is a spontaneous redox reaction. <coughs> <laughs> 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 Aluminium and phosphorus.